right, so for those of you who don't know, Danny and I are currently out on a road trip across the country in my camper. We have Mrs. Beasley with us as well as our giant lizard, Gary. I'm not going to be able to post daily updates of this trip, but I definitely want to post periodic and regular vlogs to keep you all in the loop of how things go. I also want to post throughout this trip some videos on how we save money while camping and find a lot of free campsites and how we eat healthy while we're traveling and post some videos and recipes. And so stay tuned. Ready to hit the road, I'm so excited. I was thinking when I wrote the itinerary that we would get to Indiana today from Blacksburg. Y'all, I think I'm gonna be happy if we even make it into West Virginia, <laughs> which is 20 minutes away. We're in some random small town in Indiana and we are staying for free in a pilot truck stop. All right, tonight we are having our go-to easy dinner, our veggies diavola, Italian style. We're so hungry, so we're very thankful that we found this spot and we have good food to eat. So we realized at dinner that if you look out this window, it looks beautiful, like we're next to a big farm in Indiana. And then when you look at this window, see this beautiful view with all of our neighbors. So we arrived in Kansas City, Missouri. I'm currently out walking Gary and Beasley. There's Gary and Beasley. We've been walking a bunch so they get lots of exercise and Gary gets lots of sunlight and the camper is hooked up to the generator. We're in a Walmart parking lot. And so the generator will just charge up the battery of the camper so that we can cook our dinner and the AC is also running so it'll cool it down because it is so hot. All right, dinner is served. Beasley's very interested. This is our veggies diavola and I like to add microgreens and pepitas on top. The pepitas give me some extra protein. I don't think I could ever get tired of this dish. We are outside of Kansas City, Missouri right now, and tomorrow we're planning to drive all the way through Kansas. So Beasley's really looking forward to it. Kansas bagel right here. Going all the way through Kansas today. All right, so here's where we're staying, outside of Genoa, Colorado. Awesome, awesome little, really affordable campground. All right, we made it to Colorado a day ahead of schedule because we did extra driving the last three days. Um, we are staying in a tiny town called Genoa in eastern Colorado and still in the plains. Lots of farmland around here. Yeah, it feels good to be here and we are still planning where we're going to end up tomorrow. We haven't decided, but it's, it's nice to be able to play it by ear. And Beasley is just passed out.
to Great Sand Dunes National Park and all of the campsites are completely booked up in the park, but there's this place called Mosca Campground that's literally like five miles outside the park and it is beautiful and it's completely free and they have electric hookups and we got the last spot and the view is beautiful, so let me show you. Are you telling them that I'm beautiful? You are beautiful, Danny. All right, here's my camper. There's Beasley. All right, so we just got into Great Sand Dunes National Park. And first of all, look behind me. It's beautiful. We just crossed that river. And now we're over here at the sand dunes. Let me show you. Alright, so for tonight, we're having a really good Jamaican jerk sweet potato dish on top of coconut rice. So all we did was cook the rice with some um, garlic and sweet onion, and then we added coconut milk instead of water and cooked it like we would any other rice. And then for the black beans, cooked them like any other black beans, soaked them and boiled them. And then we top it with the Jamaican jerk sweet potatoes, which usually we cook in the oven, we roast them, but since we don't have an oven in my camper, we just cut them up into cubes, microwave them for three minutes until they were soft and tender, and then we fry them a little bit just to get like a little bit crispy on the outside, just pan fry them for like three minutes. And then at the end, we top it all off with a really good mango peach jalapeno salsa. We usually make our own with fresh mango and fresh cilantro and it's really good. But since we're camping, we can't really do all of that. And so I got a jar of it and it's actually really delicious. So we'll see how this turns out. So this is what the final product looks like. And we're gonna have the watermelon for dessert. And look at that view. thanks for watching if you want to see that recipe I can post it and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any other ideas for types of videos that you want to see or recipes go ahead and leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe